Hey guys, this is Nirpom from the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now I'm here today with a very exciting product announcement. I have two new video snoot lights from Dive Pro. The first is the MP30 and the second is the MP10, which is a super macro light. So what is a video snoot light? Well, if you want black backgrounds when you're shooting video and you want dramatic macro video, you're going to need a snoot light in order to condense light into a small area and get a black background. Condensing light into a very small area allows you uh, to isolate light in one spot so that your background is separated from your foreground subject that's being lit. And it also brings out a lot of contrast and color in your video. So without further ado, I'm going to show you some clips that I've taken myself in the Pacific Northwest uh, with the MP30, and I'm very excited to take the MP10 underwater. The difference between the two lights is basically the MP30 is a good all-around versatile macro snoot light, and the MP10 is made specifically for super macro subjects, so if you're shooting with a macro lens with a stack diopter and the subject is a couple of, in, uh, a couple of centimeters, then the MP10 will be the right light for you. So what exactly makes these two snoot lights so special? Well, most snoot lights have a separate attachment on the front that reduces the beam angle physically uh, by just creating a smaller hole in the front. These two lights are special because they actually have optical lenses inside of the lights that take light, condense it within the light, and then output a very narrow beam angle. For example, the MP10 Super Macro Snoot Light has a beam angle down to three degrees and the MP30 is very special because it actually has a negative five degree beam angle. So what does minus five degrees mean? Well, it means that the actual beam of light will condense into a spot underwater and then it will uh, cross, the beam will cross and it'll expand again. So there is actually a point in the beam where the light is condensed fully to a point. And that means you have all this power just in one spot, uh, almost like if you have a magnifying glass with the sun going through, and that's what makes these lights so special. So why do you need all this light? Well, if you have a ton of light in one singular spot when you're shooting macro video, you'll be able to shoot at much lower ISOs, so you'll have a lot cleaner video with less noise, and you'll be able to shoot at wider apertures, so you can have better bokeh and better depth of field uh, for a more dramatic look. Now, these lights are specifically designed to have a nice, clean, black background when you use them, and you can do that during the day or really anytime you want. So, I think these are the two best uh, video snoot lights that I've found. We've been looking for quite some time. I've consulted one of my friends who is an uh, amazing uh, snoot videographer, and he told me that he's looked at every macro snoot light, and this is the one that he liked the best, so this is why we've actually brought on the Dive Pro Macro Snoot Lights onto our lineup. All right, so let's start with the Dive Pro MP30. This is going to be the Snoot Light that uh, most people are going to use for a general macro video. It's the Snoot Light that I used in all my video footage, um, and it's a very versatile light. It's very small, very thin, easy to hold underwater, and the most important thing is it actually comes with a ball mount, so you can mount this on a triple clamp, uh, so that it's right next to your strobe if you're gonna shoot photos and video. You can mount it right on the top of your housing. I found that pretty easy to use because then you can just point the light down um, and you can really mount it any way you want. It's, it's very small and easy to use. The light also comes with a lanyard and it comes with a battery charger for an 18650 battery, which is a pretty standard lithium ion battery. This battery charger has a USB cable so you can plug it right into your laptop um, or any USB uh, outlet. So the MP30 has a burn time of an hour and 10 minutes at the highest power. It has three power settings, which I can show you now. 
So you've got the first power setting here, second and third. Uh, at the low power, the burn time is 1,540 minutes. Now I actually found when I was shooting underwater, I was actually able to shoot at lower powers because the beam is so condensed that shooting at low power and still having very low uh, ISOs and even wide open apertures is totally fine even in the daytime. So you won't be using the light fully throughout the dive at the highest power. Now, as you probably noticed, this beam is uh, not very bright or condensed above water. That's because the optical lenses in the light itself are designed to work underwater. The beam itself underwater looks almost like a laser uh, where you can see the full beam and it has a point where the light condenses. And like I said, this light has a minus five degree beam angle. So it will hit the point and then separate into a wider beam again. So you kind of have an option based on how close you are with the snoot light as to how big the ring of light will be on your subject all the way down to a point. So the light is made of anodized aluminum. Uh, it is rated to 100 meters, so 300 feet, and it has a stainless steel button for a one button press operation. So it's really, you just click the button and switch through your settings that way. Now you might be wondering what the power on this light is. Uh, it, the power is actually rated in lux and not lumens. So lumens is the amount of power coming from your light. Uh, lux is a more accurate representation because it's the amount of power in a square meter. Um, so lumens per square meter is lux. So at the highest power, this light is 210,000 lux. So that's lumens per square meter. And at the lowest power, it's 15,000 lux. So the full MP30 light and kit retails for $210 at Blue Water Photo. If you have any questions about this light, drop it in the comments below. Email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com. We'll get you one of these lights. We can get you a quote, uh, or you can just order it from the link below in the description. So I actually personally purchased an MP30 for myself, but the MP10 is the next light that I have on my sights. So this is a cool little light because it is very small and I will show you guys what's in the box. So the beam angle on the MP10 is variable uh, straight out of the light, which has some uh, optical lenses inside of the light. The beam angle is 72 degrees. So that's good for typical macro photos. Now the MP10 does come with a special snoot attachment. This attachment is different from other video light snoot attachments because it has an optical lens inside of it. And this can reduce the beam to 23 degrees and then finally to three degrees for super macro, which is perfect for a couple centimeter subject um, with the snoot attachment on. So the light retails for $160 and we have it available now at Blue Water Photo. So reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com if you have any questions about the light. Uh, you can also purchase it at the link in the description below. Um, if you have any questions at all, we're always happy to help you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And with that, we hope you get some awesome black background underwater video shots uh, and clips. And if you have anything cool, please send it to us. We're always happy to see what our happy customers get with our products.